Well, after years of patiently waiting to happen upon it, I finally got my own copy of Tengen Tetris. Tengen? Tengen. Tengen. Yeah, this is a pretty cool find. Uh, I've actually been looking for a lot of these Tengen carts. Tengen? And got a bunch of other ones like a Pac-Man, the licensed Pac-Man cart by Tengen. Tengen? Gauntlet? And uh, a bunch of others. They're not really all that rare. And this one was, I think, $15. Never get used to that. I mean, I guess this label makes sense, right? Because you put it in the NES and then you can still see it, but then you put it in the NES too. Well, you'll see. Yeah, the whole story of Tengen, Tengen? Is pretty interesting. They were a legitimate NES publisher until they went rogue and started making all their own games on their own cartridges, hence the upside down label. And in the case of Tetris, they got in really big trouble because there were some licensing issues. Nintendo was trying to secure them, for instance. And the version of the game that I'm familiar with most is uh, the Game Boy, and I'm sure others are too. And there was an official NES Tetris and Tetris 2, but they differed quite a bit from the Tengen, Tengen? version. But that's a whole other story, and I promise we'll get to it in an episode of Famicom Dojo. Someday. All right, let's take a look. All right, upside down cart. The Soviet Mind Game. I think I remember the screen actually, but it's been a really long time. Oh, now this is really cool. So you got uh, one player, two players, cooperative versus and with computer. Uh, the official Nintendo version only had single player and maybe there's a, play there's a computer mode. This is the version you want if you want to do like a tournament or something like that. See when you can find a copy. Uh, Tetris 2 had two players, but they changed the rules of the game and like there were pieces that weren't fully connected and they would drop off kind of like a Dr. Mario type thing. It was really weird. But uh, this one, let's give this one a shot. All right, one player. Oh, five, why not? Handicap, nah. Okay, this is, there are four song selections plus silence. Let's try this one. Well, that sounds familiar. Well, that sounds really familiar. But it's a little different, actually. Thanks. Oh, where were you like 10 moves ago? Double. So this is kind of interesting because uh, the blocks aren't individual, um, which I'm used to on the uh, Game Boy version. So it's kind of hard to tell where the spacing is and just how wide some of these gaps are. Tetris. Hey, boy. Hey. Not quite Tetris. Okay, that's enough. You get the idea. Ooh, high score. So if you want the definitive version of Tetris, I highly recommend picking up this version, if you can find it. Otherwise, the Nintendo version is pretty good. Ah, who am I kidding? I love you, Tengen. Tengen. Famicom Dojo. So if and when we actually do a Famicom Dojo episode about Tengen, Tengen, we'll definitely be sure to link it in the description or in this window somewhere. Until then, keep... Tetris? Is Tetris a verb? Tengen.